Good morning or afternoon or evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. I hope it's good for you. My name is In Harm's Way, and this is Rad 2. We are on day five, and I recall saying something along the lines of I would be doing a couple things off camera between episodes. I don't remember when it was, and it's kind of sad because it's not like we've been doing this for that long. But, um, yeah, I, I, I don't remember what episode exactly it was, like episode one or two. I think it might have been two that I said it. What's up, Venom? Uh, but anyway, yeah, I did, I did a little some things off camera. Uh, one of them was I went and chopped all the wood around the house because I could and I wanted to make some charcoal. And the other thing that I did was I went and did a little bit of mining. Uh, it wasn't a lot of mining about to cook that rat because, you know, who doesn't like cooked rats? And uh, the mining that I did was uh, specifically looking for gold. And I was looking for gold because guess what? We can use iron pickaxes now, right? Because we have gathering 15? Yes. So we're going to upgrade some tools here shortly. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm going to, of course, come over here and put the best, the biggest slot of iron there. And then we'll put some here, and then we'll put some copper here, and then we'll put some tin there. And then we'll throw some string up here, and then I've got to see what else we have in here. All right, so up here, we'll go with these. Oh, wait, not that one. We'll go these, because guess what? That's what we're going to be using to do other stuff. Uh, we are going to go here, grab some of that. Go here, put that and that away, and that away, and that away. That is marble. Very cool. I'm going to put that away. And I think I'm almost done putting stuff away. That. And put the... Restores health when a mob is killed. We need to get a combat. What is the combat we need? Let's take a look. We need to get to combat 25 before we can use those types of tools. But in the meantime, we can swap out these two for these. Which means we also can now mine diamonds. And... gold and stuff like redstone you know all right so extra tools go there um take our rat put it up here because we don't have any rats up there let this stuff work all right so let me show you uh what i did i took the trees that were here and moved them out one layer that means that before it gets dark again, uh, actually, I moved it out one layer and then put a layer of light around it. And then I came over here. That is a wandering trader on an elephant. Elephant, wandering trader, and of course the trader ice swan. How much was that? 32. Wow. Hmm. Trades large ice blocks that can kill our foes. Yeah, not so sure about that. Not so sure I want to be doing that with large ice blocks that can kill our foes. Anyway, I went over here. And came down here. Did I come down here? Must not have. This must not have been where it was. Where was it? Oh, it was this one. Found it. Now, you know how I can tell? Because I put that up there. There we go. All right, so came down here and was like, okay, let's explore this a little bit and uh, pick up some ores and stuff. And then I was like, okay, so we picked up ores. You know, we went around, picked up the easy stuff like the iron and the, well, the stuff we could actually pick up. As easy as that stuff is, right? And I lit up the area because, you know, 
don't want more mobs to spawn because I don't like getting killed. Just you know, personal preference. And then uh, left all of this gold because, well, for one thing, I didn't, I wasn't capable of using it yet. I, I couldn't actually mine it. A funny thing is that I just wanted that lead and the llama meat because, hey, who doesn't like them some llama meat, right? I'm kidding. Uh, but I had more gold that I haven't picked up, so let's pick some of that up. And I haven't fully explored this area. I mean, I've kind of looked at some of it. And lit up a little bit of it, but there's quite a bit more that I haven't explored, so we're gonna do what we can to grab what we can, but oh. Uh, that's the one bad thing, and the one reason why I think the mod devs kept the. Ulti mine the way it was was because you don't want to do stuff like that. I kept some. I did. Uh oh. Do we have any in here? We don't. This is going to be bad. We're going to run out of durability on our tool, and then I'm going to be sad because I'm going to have no durability on my tool. I'm going to have to go back, go back to the house and actually work on fixing the tool. I, I saw there was stuff over there and at some point I will go get it but my, my goal is gold right now so let's get the gold for, oh. I didn't want to go down there I'm afraid of dying and I think rightfully so Grab it real quick. See if we can run back before anything comes and gets us. And I think that, you know, just because we can, we should make it so people can't, or mobs can't come up here and get us. Because that would be bad. Um, and then I think there was some over here, but I'm not positive. We're kind of running out of durability. You know. 119 to 250. We're almost halfway through. Doesn't look like there's any over here. But maybe there was some down here. No, I was... Oh, yeah. Look, there's some down here. Oh, yeah. Okay, and that's the other thing I wanted to show you guys. Check out this room. I, I was, like I said, looking for stuff. And came... Came down here and saw this room. So I wanted to bring you guys back down here and, you know, one, let's get the gold from it. Two. Those things are, they're probably above us. I want to see how much of this stuff we can get, right? And the here and the everything walk-in is going to mess with me. All right, that and that. Uh, the other thing I did was I mended my armor. So I'll have to show you that in a minute. Another lead, nice. Recall potions, we want these. These teleport us to our waypoint, to our uh, spawn point. Allows you to switch between items without a cooldown. Yeah, we are gonna put that on right now. The funny thing is, I, I updated this stuff, but oh, I can't wear that yet? Okay, well we have to keep those. So we'll put that there along with this, and we'll put this up here, and we'll put that up there, and we'll put this up there, and nothing else in there. This stuff can all go here. Actually, you could go on the other one. Okay, so I want the gold because I want to actually... Other smithy table. 
because we can. I want the gold because I want to increase the size of our backpacks. Grants immunity to blindness. That's kind of cool. Hit. I end up picking up books a lot without seeing what's in them. So if you guys see me doing that, uh, you know, that that's why, because I really don't pay attention to what's in them. But um, at some point, we're going to make a uh, a cool thing. It's an apotheosis. Let's see, can I find apotheosis? There's no apotheosis in here. For real? It's called, I know that these are used in it, but it's called something along the, it's not the Library of Alexandria. Uh, um, I will figure it out at some point. It's something about like the magical library or something like that. But what it does is it allows you to put, oh, is that it? Enchantment library? I think that's what it is. It allows you to put all of your enchanted books in it, and then you can pull out up to what the biggest enchantment that you can get. My day's been good, Venom. How's your day been? And so eventually we'll be making that. Red sand, flax seeds, yeah. We can always mine more dirt, but, you know, I'll take some when I can. What's up, dude? Let's see. Do we have... How much gold would you give me? Two for... Th I'll get three for two. So what we want to do is we want to pull that gold that we had out. And follow him. And get three for two gold. And so we got a stack of gold. That's pretty good. Uh, the other thing we want to do is we want to pull out this and this. And uh, he'll give us two for that. And he'll give us three for two. We don't have those. Uh, copper. 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 Two for three. Yep. There we go. Three for two. Good. So that works. And I've got some gold now. So I could actually... Uh, Take a little bit of time. Oh, wow, okay. They're shooting at each other down here, which I'm okay with. Although I do kind of want to see if we can light this up a little. Whoo! Man, am I glad I've got those booties on. Oh, no, it's the trinket. All right. Been not bad, doing a lot of warframing day. Cool. Glad to hear it. Hope you're having fun. Uh, that's one of the things that we can do now is get stacks of... I don't know why I just put two in the same area. Yeah, see, that's not going to work. One, two, three. The other thing is when we're redoing these... Sometimes three's not going to cut it. You're going to need to do four. Where the heck did our gold go? Oh, it's down here. Okay, good. All right, so we need to actually put some stuff away, like uh, that and that and that and that and that and that. I guess we can put these away again, put that away. That I don't want to be put away. We can put that and that away. We've got two stacks. That can go in there. This can go over here. This can go in here. I have it open. Okay. What did that one say? Stored experience. Cool. Experience goals are good. All right. I want to put that there. And I want to go back to the house. So let's do that.
but on the way, let's pick up what we can, right? And going back. Uh, and if, if anybody's wondering how I know which way to go back, I always put my torches on the right hand wall so that if I follow the torches to the left, I know I'm going in the proper direction. And if I go up to places like that, that's where you see stuff like this. But that's how I know how to get where I want to go. Now, one of the things that was told to me was I'm left handed, so I'm weird. Go out left, that's the way you go, right? That's for me. But I know people who have uh, put torches on the left hand walls because then if you're following them the right to the right side, you're going the right way, right? And kindling, that means that when he hits me, I'm going to get on fire. That's what enkindling means. Okay. Watching some of these guys die. Is this that one? Let's see if I can get in. Yeah, okay, I got it. All right, okay, so what did they drop? Because sometimes those, especially the named ones, like that one was named, they drop some cool stuff. So they dropped a uh, Temptation book and a Fiery Batwing. What can we do with the Fiery Batwing? I don't want to see how I can enchant stuff. Cursed Hair. Golden String. What does Golden String get us? A Golden Leer. Or a Ball of Golden String. Pretty cool. All right, so let's go back to the house and see what we can see back at the house. And let's also eat. Um, I'm going to want more blast furnaces. So one of the things that I think we're going to do is uh, real quick drop a stack of this up there, because we can. Um, and then I'm going to want to fix my tools. And sometimes, you know, I want to put these up here so that I have them. Grab those. And, and as you've seen, I, I pick up pretty much all the books, because I don't really know what I'm going to use. We'll see. Over time. Uh, let's see. Let's start unpacking some of this stuff. Putting some stuff up, right? Uh, this one could be llama meat. This can be there and there and that and that and that. there. You can go in there. You can go in there. 15. At some point, once we get a stack of each of these, we're not going to put any more in there. That could go up there. That could go up there. We've got a couple of these. This one is critical hit. Gives you the chance to inflict non-standard critical hits. We're going to want that on our first iron sword. Provides a brief invulnerability when collecting XP orbs. Opulent shield. I can put it on chest paste, okay? So Jasper there. Let's put this here. And then this one is uh, Burst Bowstring. Shoots nearby mob when you roll. Costing one arrow per roll. Materials deal 40% of charge slots damage. Yeah, probably not going to put that on our both three. Uh, one of the things that I do want to do is uh, we're going to need go two of these and one of these and our tower shield. There's our tower shield. And then I want to make it into an iron shield. So we're going to swap out shields. But I also want to make our iron shield this shield, because we can. Uh, let's fix this shield. 
and let's put that shield. Cool, cool. Endurance 15. See, that's going to be difficult for us to get. Although we've already got Endurance 6, so we could actually wear some chain leggings. Still need to get to Combat 25, though. That's going to take us a while. All right, so you can go here for now. Wasn't sure what all I wanted to get done today. Uh, we have a knowledge of death, so we can actually grab some stuff here. And I think we've got a lot of our stuff. We, not until we get into these things, you know, the normal mode changes. Uh, actually, we can grab that one. But until we actually kill a wither and then kill a dragon, we're not going to go into expert or master mode. Uh, but world exploration. Let's make this smaller. All right, so go full nomad. So we've gotten all of the stuff for this, which means that we can grab. Oh no, we already grabbed most of them, not all of them. And here we've got a blast furnace, so we get a loot box and some other stuff. Uh, we've picked up an iron sword, and we bane a tower, an iron tower shield. So good. Um, anything else in here? No, I mean I know there's other stuff. We're going to need an auto smelting upgrade. And we're going to need a crafting upgrade. So those are things that at some point we will make. All right. Let's put some of that stuff away. Charm of regeneration. Charm of regeneration goes in the charm slot. We only have one charm slot. Oh, we have two, sorry. We have two charm slots. But that means that now we regenerate all the time. And that's good for us. Because that means... Uh, we got some redstone. We got a marigold, dandelion, sorry. This can go up here. You can go up there. All right, so let's take off our backpack. And let's make all our backpacks bigger, right? Okay. I hadn't made this one bigger yet. But now all of our backpacks are gold backpacks, which means we have a good amount, not a great amount, but we have a good amount of stuff. Oh, it also means I need to change these slots. So unselect slots and then select slots. But didn't want to do that one. You have to go back out from it. All right, so. These are the slots that I don't want stuff moving from. I guess we can put that there. Wait, what is this? No, that could go in here. Arrows. Normally, my white bag becomes my arrow bag, and I think that's what we're going to go with. It will stay as my arrow bag. And then we'll go here. Put some of this away. All right, so we've got three backpacks. They're great for when we're exploring and doing dungeons and all that good stuff. At some point, we're going to want to go to this one, right? 192, 538, yeah. Maybe even go to there. Or here, holy cow. Yeah, at some point, we're going to want to do that Obsidian Store. But in order to get to Obsidian, we have to be able to get to Diamond. In order to get to Diamond, yeah, it's a whole thing. Um, harvest, as you guys can tell, if you weren't paying attention, uh, I had a lot of stuff to harvest, which means that I've spent quite a bit of time online. And I've done that because I was trying to get the trees done, get some coal, uh, get some charcoal, work some. 
you know, just little things. So I'll try to bounce back and forth. Uh, for four of these, we can get two of these. Apparently, I've been taking some damage. I, I like to grab those as much as I can because later we're gonna. I'm gonna want those spinach seeds, kangaroo meat. Let's uh, cook all the kangaroo because we can. Let's put that in what we're eating because our companions are rarely, if ever, going to ask for these weird meats. They're going to ask for stuff that is part of, let's take half of that and put it in here. Uh, they're going to ask for stuff that is regular Minecraft stuff for the most part. I've not seen them ask, you know, I've seen them ask for raw stuff, which is kind of weird. But um, I haven't ever seen them ask for non-Minecraft stuff. About to be dark. I'm going to decide whether or not I'm going to sleep when we see if it's a blue moon or a whatever. We need to get our combat experience up, which means we need to start beating up mobs if we can. And, you know, we kind of can't because it's not like we're. Hear that archer, that skelly. One hundred and fifty eight. Jeez, dude. He was named, which is why he had all that stuff. Okay, well, cool. Uh, it is night out. We didn't get a special moon, so we'll sleep through the night. Maybe. A desert bandit with 41. But she gave us a good book. Maybe not. Maybe he didn't give us a good book. Let's sleep through the night. Then check our loot. Because we just got some loot. That's what this game is all about. I don't know if you guys read the description. Some people don't read the description. But this game is all about that. Uh, Brisk Hunter's Boot. Slides Furious Crown of... Tenacity. Mana regen, lightweight, surprise gift. Hunter's armor may not fit for a knight, but it will stop a blade. And it's uncommon. Let's see. Okay. Uh, flaming rebuke. Okay, so that's why we had that. That's a tower shield. I wonder if I can let us see. Grab these four, because they're here. Let's see. If I put that there and these here, does it... Nope. So, what was the recipe for this one? Ah, okay. So, is it wood or is it iron that I'm going to need to mend it? It's wood. Okay. So let's measure, uh, let's mend this shield, and then let's put this shield on. We'll keep this one in our backpack because we can. And while we're at it, let's do uh, another row of these. And every time we get bigger, we'll do the same thing. So that we have stuff that can go in here that, you know, we'll save for later. Uh, these were the Brisk Hunter's boot reinforced, double jump. When 
It may not be fit for a knife, but it will stop a blade. That's our first half hour in the book, so we're still working. So, so my question is, can I know what are these made out of? Doesn't tell me what the recipe is, so I can't. So I don't know how to fix them, and they have so little eight durability left. Uh, we got a curse of bones, can't level light bone shield when hit. We got a phalanx that allows us to move faster when using a shield. You know what? Let's grab one of our anvils and let's put phalanx on our shield. It's going to cost us two. If I were to do this, it costs us two. But it destroyed the uh, anvil. And if I put that up there with this, it's going to cost us three. See that? Now we've got Paladin, Flaming Rebuke. What is Paladin 3? Left Alt, by the way, to show what that stuff is. Phalanx, Paladin 3 is... When players transfer a portion of their damage to you. Good thing we don't have any other players here. Alright, that can go there. I wish I knew how to... Hunters... How do you make Hunter's Boots? See, it doesn't tell me how to make them. Hunter's Leggings, Hunter's Vest, Hunter's Bandana, Hunter's Promise. I wish I knew how to make that. Huh. One of the things I think we should do is I think we should make a... Uh, I'm making smooth stone with that. Where did I put our excess gold? I'm sorry, excess iron. Excess gold I've got in my hand. All right, so if we make, grab three of them, right? And then we take out, no. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one and put these there. Now we have an anvil that is a full anvil. Hey, and we actually made an anvil. Let's put that in here. We'll put that in here. We'll put that back in here. Uh, I've got. I'm going to keep these for when we're out, out and about. Uh, but this was our first helmet. So our first helmet will go here, and that's how I'm going to do that. As I trade out gear. We're going to put the gear up there. Um, I have that. I have that. So we can real quick do this and this. Hold on. That and that. Use a couple of our leather. I'm going to take a couple too. Two of them. Good. All right. So we're full up there again. I guess I'm going to put these boots in here. That reinforced seven, though. And that is pretty cool. And double jump two. Didn't even think about the double jump two, huh? Okay, yeah, we'll leave that there for now. Take that arrow, put these in our arrow case. Put that and that away. Put you away. Put you away. Two away, two away. Got some food, not a lot, but you know, we've got some. And good. All right, so smooth stone. So we want to make some more blast because we, because I want to make some more blast furnace. Let's uh go harvest some sugar cane because in this mod pack. That's as tall as it gets. Got our sugar cane. Well, most of it. We left some in the water. We'll grab it. Got our sugar cane. 
harvest this pear tree. Plant a pear. And put the pear in here. Let's go harvest the banana tree. Anytime we come across these trees, I'm going to light them up, and uh, eventually, my goal is to. I'm going to eventually plant a little orchard out here. I hope that's a pear tree. We only got one banana sapling. But. One banana sapling means we can grow more bananas. And then we can put some here. What was this one over here? Was it another pear? It's another banana. Okay. Well, we can grab that banana tree as well. This one we're not going to replant even if we get a sapling. And we did get a sapling. Uh, one of the ways we can boost endurance by hurting ourselves. But if we're going to do that, we need to do it without all of our gear on, right? Because, you know. I want to go looking for our first dungeon. Uh, what was there? Pretty sure it was potato, right? And if it wasn't, it is now. The other things, we can't put those in. We can't put these in. Uh, we can basically put the rest of this in there. All right. So, dungeon. Where have I gone in this world in the past and found a dungeon? Because, you know, roguelike adventures and dungeons, we we're actually going to want to find a dungeon at some point. I'm going to put this up here to supplement the sticks for when we need more torches. And before I put that away, I'm actually going to fix it, because we can. And then saplings here for now, food there, growy stuff. You know what? No. We're going to turn sugarcane into paper. So we'll put it with where we're going to put our paper. Uh, we've been there. What if we just head that way? So we've got our sleeping bag. And that means that we can sleep anytime we want. And if we just head straight east. Sleep when the moon comes up. Because that's when you sleep. And we didn't get any cool moon stuff. sleep when the moon comes up and we'll just go hunt down a dungeon and we're gonna do it I don't I don't want to say we're gonna do it the right way because it's not truly there's not truly a right and a wrong way but we're gonna kind of pay attention to the mini map and the map to find dungeons oh maybe not a dungeon how about a how about an illager place that has all kinds of goodies, but it's also got illagers? Hmm. I know that we can handle taking on a couple of illagers. You know what we should do? Pay attention. Because if we see some sheep, 
I'm going to want their wool. So we're going to build ourselves a bed that we can use as a means of that didn't work out like I wanted it to. Good. Lavender. Nice. Mutton. Works for me. Uh, we only needed the one. Now we just need some wood, right? And uh, I believe we put some stuff up here so we could get planks from that. And then I believe we have this. Which means if we set it down, we can make ourselves a bed which can reset a spawn point. Means that if we get killed while we're messing around in this pillager place, we can spawn right next to it. So now let's make sure that we're going the right way. We kind of were, but not quite. So, ah, so here's the wall coming up. Okay, well, that would have been bad, huh? Drop down in a hole. Some muddy pigs. All right, so this wall will lead us down there. You hear them? I hear them. All coming to get me. So let's do this real quick. I hear them. There, it's coming up. Let's let them kill each other, right? Shoot each other. Look at that. Okay. We've got a little bit of a lag issue here. I'm way okay with letting them kill each other off. Or kill themselves because they hit my shield. And that's really cool because my shield only requires That's so sweet when they're hitting each other. I don't want to lose this shield. All right. It's real quick. Grab the wood. Yeah. We're going to need more wood. That's why I got that fruit wood, right? Keep this in our inventory to use when we need it. Oh, a couple of them fell down. You're going to shoot at me, dude? Okay, so he did shoot at me. All right, so this skilled pillager that keeps getting his health back, yeah, that's the guy we're going to have to worry about. We're going to have to actually hurt him.
Got him. Cool. Our response right here. Oh, we're going to have to do this a couple times then. How many times can we be killed by these guys? I think a lot. Did we just lose our shield? We might have just lost our shield. So let's see if we can do this at a run. Nope. All right, fix our shield. You are... Okay, so there's a couple things that I think I want to do. I think I want to prevent them from getting up here. One. I don't want to prevent them from looking for me, you know, finding me and stuff like that. I just want to prevent them from coming at me. That's right. We have regeneration now. Got him. Good. Grab the arrow. Come back up. He came to me. Let him kill himself, right? That's the way to do it. Couple arrows. All right, so we've seen quite a number of these guys so far. Uh, I don't know what the best way is to clear one of these places. Because the only way I've ever cleared one in the past is by actually clearing it. I mean, literally clearing it. But I wonder, let's eat. Let's walk around here. And, and by walk, I mean, let's, we're going to try and get them to see us and come after us right? Because if we can get them all coming to one area, that's pretty good. There's three of them down there. One of them is shooting one. Good. Right there. That up in the air, huh? Well, they shot each other, so I'm good with that. I think he keeps getting, oh, it's about to be dark. Now that we have a bed up here, we should probably use it when we can, right? Yay. These guys don't. You know, they, they can be in the overworld, so. Hey, 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 hey. Where'd you come from? It makes me wonder if these guys just keep.
Do these guys keep spawning? All right, so let's take a look at what's in these crates, because we can. Get that, all that food, some raw salmon, lots and lots of emeralds. I'm not sure, not sure where I want to go. I do know that I don't want to. Fourteen of forty three. Wait a second. We've got knowledge of death. Two, three points, right? Uh, what did I put my knowledge of death under? Here? Nope, that's the shop. Here? Knowledge of death. There we go. So, knowledge of death. Where's the one where we keep our experience? That's it. So, we can do one. We can do two. We need knowledge of death five to get our third one. We have one more point, which means right here, 20% chance of getting an enchanted key. An enchanted key will let us just go grab stuff. Uh, anything here? Look at that. Advancement. Knowledge of the first. Knowledge raises the first soul. Uh, number of deaths. Die at least one time. Nice. No goblins will rob you of your hard-earned platinum. Before each item, interact it with the smithing table. Uh, we need to make some decorative graves. We need some graves death, some essence of undeath in order to do that. So that's fine. So, all right. Those are all good things to know. Okay. Now, one of the things that I typically do, start here. Light it. Right? I don't know if it changes their spawning mechanic. But I do know that in lighting it, I get the opportunity to not have other hostile mobs spawn. This guy should be coming at me already. There he is. What did he break? He broke my shoes. My shoes! He broke my shoes. Dang it. Oh, yeah. We're, we're way low. Uh, can we... I don't think we have the endurance really to wear anything right now, except for what we're already wearing. Uh, one of the things with the potion that, that moves us back to our respawn point is that this is now our respawn point. So we, we can't go back to home base. But let's take a look at what we can do for boots, right? Looks like there's a lot of different types of boots. Scale boots. We have the endurance to wear those. They are made out of scale from Tropicat. Okay, mage boots, alpine boots, 
mountaineering boots. Yeah, I see some of those are stuff that we're not going to be able to do. Ars Nouveau leather. Yeah, okay. Chain mail. We could wear chain mail at this point. How do we make chain mail? We could even make chain to make chain mail armor. Uh, let's grab you and you. One of the things I want to do is I want to put that up here. Uh, you are raw, so you can go in here. Ares Grace increases damage against protected enemies. We're going to want to put that on our iron sword when we finally get an iron sword. We can't get an iron sword until we're at 25 for combat, so it's going to be a couple. All right, red, white, blue. You and you go up here. You go up there. Another tombstone soulbound. No, some graves dust. That's good. Graves dust. You go up here. You go in here. All right. So I was saying I want to make those there. Those there. That'll get us five. Which will get us enough to make some boots, right? So now we have some chainmail boots. We can wear some chainmail boots. They have a little bit more durability than... Actually, quite a bit more durability. And we might actually need some more. So... Okay, so we need one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven pants. We need eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven pants. Eight for all right. So there's that. Here's this. Trade these out, take these off, put those on. They have no enchants on them, and I'm okay with that because we had no enchants on our other stuff. And we can put that back, and these we can save to put away. Right? Okay, so now let's go back to where we were. Eat something. And that regeneration is nice. If we can just get away from when we're hit, and regenerate that helps one two, one two three five arctic which means he slows me down gives me the weak enchant Oh, you got to kill this guy right away. Got him. Totem of Undying even for it. When you kill them, does their vexes? No, their vexes stick around. All right. Not the place to be fighting vexes. I think outside in the open is the only place to fight vexes. Go. Oh, see? There's an enchanted key. That'll take me right to my gravestone. All right. That's going to do it for us for the day. My name's In Harm's Way. Hope everybody has a great day. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.